Thank you so very much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and uh, be a part of this uh, historical moment. Uh, about six months ago, ACOM, Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine, has really finalized the process to really take Panama City to become a, uh, a core site to train third and fourth year medical students. So today we had a preceptor dinner uh, for all of our community physicians to educate them on our new relationship with Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine. We are here gathered as a group of professionals, uh, whether it be business leaders, healthcare leaders, physicians, to learn a lot more about the medical student program that's coming to town with the Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine. So we have a brand new uh, course site at Gulf Coast. Uh, regional Medical Center and we have 11 third-year medical students uh, that have the opportunity to come into Bay County, Panama City and learn about medicine from all of our community physicians. Osteopathic medicine is a combination of traditional Western medicine and also a specialized form of structural medicine diagnosis and treatment. It is a consideration of the body as a whole person, as whole with a W, as well as uh, uh, holistic uh, with an H. The two hospitals here in Panama City, Gulf Coast Regional Medical Center and Bay Medical, have signed an agreement with the Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine to establish what we call a core site here for third and fourth year clinical experiences that all medical students need to have in order to be able to graduate from medical school and become doctors. This is actually the second time that we've been in Panama City to talk with preceptors who are going to be precepting our third year students for the first time this coming July. The enthusiasm is truly remarkable. In fact, it is so great we had to have two opening training sessions. We had one in January and now we're having this one here tonight. The turnout's very large. We have CEOs here. Everyone has been excited to uh, uh, see uh, our students come in July and we're excited to have them. We do not have a medical school really serving this area. We of course have some other, other medical schools in this region of the state, uh, but for Panama City and Bay County and surrounding area, this is a huge contribution for our area. Every physician and every entity, Bay Medical Center, Gulf Coast, uh, Select Specialty Hospital, Health South, uh, Pan Care, Life Management, and the physicians as well. I felt extreme excitement to really to be here, to be part of this event. And so this is a training for you know, these preceptors that are going to be teaching students one-on-one -on -one, you know, what it's like to be you know, their kind of doctor for a month at a time in order to help us as students get you know, a wide range of experience and exposure to different types of medicine. So as we're deciding you know, what kind of you know, doctors we want to be will have some idea and have some experience. I think this is huge. I mean, I think this is a big, not only from the point of view of bringing, you know, um, lots of new faces and new people to Panama City, but potential members of our community. This is a huge deal for Bay County. I mean, we're so fortunate to have this medical school here. Uh, again, we have been looking forward for this for a long time, and uh, this is huge for our community to provide other medical doctors in our area as well as specialists for uh, training for our particular area of, of uh, Northwest Florida. We wanted to have in Panama City a course site well before the school even opened and to see this kind of response and reception and to have these kind of resources available to our students, this is a very large deal to us. Well, first of all, you know, we're looking forward to getting acquainted, more acquainted with what the medical school is going to be doing for Bay County and surrounding area. Uh, we hope to train some individuals uh, with regard to psychiatry and mental health and be able to produce uh, more doctors for our area that are, of course, educated in our, ar our area and our area of expertise. Well, I think for our hospital, it, uh, at Select, like the other hospitals, it's, uh, you know, we want to be part of uh, getting in on the getting in on the ground floor and really just building that and helping promote our community and, and again what we have to offer here to these students and uh, hopefully again just get them here and uh, they'll like it so much they'll want to stick around. Well tonight I think 
uh, more than anything, I just want to you know see the excitement in the room from everyone who's represented here tonight, and uh, you know collaboratively uh, and collectively we all come together and say this is a great thing, uh, not only for the students, for the college, but for our community. Preceptors are truly remarkable physicians who are paying it forward. All of us had to learn from a physician. We had to learn it at the bedside. We had to learn how to be a physician, how to think like a doctor, how to act like a doctor. And we all needed to do that as apprentices under physicians. Those are preceptors. Here we have an entire room full of preceptors for 12 students. It's remarkable. I am just really excited to meet a lot of the doctors here. Um, you know, this is a brand new site, and so nobody from our medical school has really got to meet some of these doctors. And I've heard a lot of good things about, you know, the doctors from both Bay and Gulf Coast, and we're really just excited to get to meet them and to see who's going to be our preceptors for the next two years. And tonight, we hope there's a common understanding of what we expect of our preceptors and what we expect of our students and also we understand what our preceptors here are going to need in order to be able to do a good job with our students this year. Uh, I think the biggest thing is just uh, really looking forward to talking with the college, interacting with the college, learning more about what the students will be doing here in Panama City and uh, you know just showing our support for them. Well, not only hoping to get familiar with the entire process, I think that this is something that Panama City missed for some time, you know, having refreshed faces from medical schools, students that are excited to become, you know, physicians and bringing that enthusiasm to um, Panama City and I think particularly to Life Management Center. First and foremost, I think it's just a way for our medical community to give back. Uh, we have a lot of physicians on staff that really appreciate the opportunity to be able to be, uh, to, to teach and to, and to give back to their profession. So I think that's a real important um, benefit from the program in the community. Secondary to that, we're bringing folks to uh, Bay County uh, to Panama City. These folks are going to be here on an, a short-term basis as they go to school, but uh, after school, you know, we, we think that maybe they'll come back and they'll like Panama City. They'll establish some roots while they're here and they'll move back and want to practice medicine right here in uh, Panama City. Uh, it's, it's really exciting. What, what excites me most is seeing our medical staff, our physicians that live and reside here in Bay County, get excited about teaching and proctoring and precepting these young students. Mi nombre es la doctora Aracelia Bernier, soy um, una doctora, doctora primaria, hay especialidad en medicina de familia, y estamos muy contentos de que los estudiantes de ACOM es, van a venir a Panama City. Es un sitio precioso, muy bueno para practicar, y con una diversidad cultural grande. Especialmente eh, tengo mucha alegría de tener estudiantes en mi clínica, y presentarles a mis pacientes que son, podría decirles, de todo el mundo, de alrededor del mundo y quiero compartir esa experiencia con los estudiantes de tercer año de medicina y espero verlo muy pronto por aquí. Los veo pronto. As you have seen, the amount of excitement, the amount of happiness, the amount of willingness and enthusiasm from the medical staff as well as from the institutions that will host these medical students. I am so happy and my heart is really singing the music of success. ACOM has really been good to our community and in return we feel obligation to be good back to ACOM and the ACOM students. They will come here, they have seen the amount of excitement from the medical staff, they have seen happiness and I really think that this will be a great site and it will be a site that will really shape and set the standard so high as far as education, as far as knowledge, as far as engagement and commitment. And actually to be able to teach you have to learn it twice so it also will make us better physicians. Welcome ACOM to Panama City. We're right here waiting for you.